Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of fire. So if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of June 2nd uh, through the 4th, 2023. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general. Uh, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we have the overall energy as the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Queen of Swords. We've got the Five of Swords. Then we have the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Princess of Wands. Uh, judgment and four of swords now these two came out reversed um, which I don't normally read reverse but I always pay attention to them um, when that happens so um, I feel like um, you have been very patient um, and just kind of at a point where maybe you're just reflecting um it seems like you could be taking some sort of analysis of your life or looking to see how far you've come uh, you also seem to be looking at things from a practical or logical standpoint there could be some sort of decision that you're needing to make and maybe you're like, I'm just going to make the logical decision. Um, this is the practical thing to do. But it seems that that situation changes or you end up following your heart or receiving one of your wishes. I feel like one of your wishes, like you probably have a million wishes, but I feel like one of your wishes are coming into fruition or something should be manifesting for you over the weekend where you have a sense of peace um, or you are feeling satisfied or fulfilled in some some way. Um, seems to like you're experiencing a form of self-love uh, or unconditional love, but it still seems like for self. It could be that um, you complete some sort of inner work and it just gives you a sense of peace knowing that you have fulfilled something or that you've completed something mm. in a love situation it seems that there could be distance like you and another person are possibly thinking about each other but yet not having enough uh, or having too much pride rather to acknowledge the other person or to let them know how you're feeling and they don't want to let you know how they're feeling. Um, yeah, and it seems like maybe this is something that's been going on for, for a while. And yeah, you could be heavily on someone's mind and this person could either be an air sign or a fire sign. And it could be a question of what are you going to do about it? Hmm. I still feel that everything goes back to self. Like you don't have time to really just keep thinking about a certain situation so you just choose to love yourself or to focus on yourself um, and they could be doing the same thing they're like I'm just gonna live my life I'm gonna do me 
Um, I can't wait for this person to um, acknowledge me or pursue me. Like something's going on where the both of you just decide to focus on yourself, but it, it still looks like that is the most fulfilling thing. Mm. Hmm. Seems like there is an opportunity being presented to you as well. Maybe you're going to have an opportunity to uh, pursue your passions. Um, maybe you're having an opportunity to be very creative. Maybe you're being invited to uh, a, a new job or career where you get to be creative. I'm getting like rookie energies though. Like something is still brand new. Like you're still learning. You might be learning how to respond to people or learning how to express yourself. Um, if you do have any type of gift or talent, maybe you're just now learning how to use it. But you might be proud of yourself because you did something right. Um, let's say this is about predictions. And you're like, it's something that you calculated, you predicted. And then it turns out that your theory was correct or your prediction was correct. I feel that this is you just like being rewarded. And patting yourself on the back, even if you are rewarding yourself. Um, so I feel like you're going to receive some sort of uh, reward. You also could be treating yourself like on a mundane level, like rewarding yourself. Like I deserve, you know, this coffee, this this latte. I haven't spent my money on a on Starbucks in months and I deserve this or um, you know I deserve to have a treat like something's going on where you're treating yourself mm. there's also a possibility though that somebody could be acknowledging you mm, giving you your flowers or you know just showing some sort of uh, appreciation towards you. Mm. Now, I feel that you also could potentially be putting something off, um, procrastinating on a response or an opportunity, like you're waiting. I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, you might be waiting for more confirmation or needing to see something from a different perspective. It seems like you could be reflecting. If something is offered to you, I feel like you're, you're deciding that you want to Take a time out or to pause. You're like, let me let me reflect on this. I feel like you're needing to process something. But it's like you're having to think outside of the box. Hmm. Seems like you're also trying to bring some sort of energy towards you. Like you're it's a different form of manifestation where you're attracting something towards yourself. I kind of feel like you're also like looking at your own thoughts or you're dissecting your own thoughts. Seems like you're taking some sort of self uh, assessment. Um, yeah. You're analyzing your own thoughts. You're your own therapist. Mm. Let's 
This also could be the energy of someone who's thinking about you. Like, there's something going on where they're processing. And you might start to feel like something means no, but that's not the case. Somebody is just thinking and processing. I feel like you're practicing some new form of meditation. I was also getting something about levitation. So I don't know if that is something that you're interested in or trying to see if it's real, if you can do it. Um, but it seems like you could be trying to levitate. Um, it kind of makes me think too of what's that movie? The Craft? When they were um, chanting, uh, light as a feather, stiff as a board, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Like they were doing that like over and over again. That movie is so cool. But um, yeah, it could be something going on where maybe you are researching some metaphysical stuff. Um... I was getting something about curing your confidence. So now someone also could be praying for you or trying to heal you. Maybe someone is doing some sort of remote Reiki. Um, but it does look like maybe you're having to prepare. Something is in preparation. If you are single and you are at peace being single, or if you're single, but you know you're open to meeting someone, I feel that you've had to be single uh, for a reason. Like you've been in preparation, even if it has been for like seven years. Like you've been, someone's being prepared for you, you're being prepared for each other. And there's a strong possibility that you guys are coming into an coming into alignment. It could be a fire sign or it could be um it could be another fire sign or it could be an air sign that you're being prepared for. I feel like uh, there is a purification going on like you're being purified now you also could be taking some sort of spiritual bath or maybe it's time for one Okay, so I get the energy of someone who's also been in denial of their feelings for you and has been very nervous about coming forward. And it seems like this person has been um, practicing or something is like repetitious. Maybe someone's just been listening to a particular song um, to prepare themselves or it just seems like someone's been trying to get ready to approach you you could have you know more than one love offer because i'm also seeing um earth and water signs 
possibly coming towards you. Mm. I feel that somebody who was not ready for love in the past might be ready for love now. Someone has had to overcome their fear of rejection and it took a long time. You might need to set boundaries with the fire sign or you're learning how to set boundaries with them. And I'm also getting that there's a fire sign that is very persistent in pursuing you. So I don't know if you don't like this person. I don't, I don't know if you're feeling that person this way because it seems like you know that they're pushing for you. Um, but maybe you just don't feel like this is your person, but they don't see that this person might be very determined that you're meant to be together, but you just don't feel that way. You also might be confused as to why someone keeps appearing in your life if you're not meant to be together, or if you don't have feelings for that particular person, you're like, why do they keep coming, popping up in my life? It also seems that somebody has been pushing other people away because of depression. So again, in regards to you delaying some sort of response, it just seems like there's some sort of self-doubt or you're procrastinating on something because you don't believe, you don't believe something, you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in what you want enough. Mm. You don't believe something can happen. It seems that something is calling for your attention, but you don't want to deal with it. Some of you are being haunted by your past. Um, it could be a past person or situation, but it seems that um, an old issue is going to resurface. Spiritually, if you're feeling stuck or overwhelmed or confused, it could actually be some spirit around you or someone is sending their energy towards you. It could be dead or alive, um, but especially like someone who's crossed over. Um, I don't know if you knew them or not, but it just seems like something could be around you that is making you feel trapped or stuck preventing you from um, moving forward or some kind of progression. You also may be having anxiety in regards to some sort of premonition that you had, a premonition about moving, a premonition about losing someone. Um, if you do have dreams about death, it may just be an indication that um, there is some sort of 
inevitable changes coming. Does it necessarily mean that somebody's getting ready to die? You overall seem to be trying to manifest peace, trying to be at peace, creating a peaceful space, doing things that bring you peace. For some of you, there's um, a water sign that, okay, this can play out in one of two ways. Um, in a love situation, there could be a water sign obsessing over you. Um, this person also could be nervous or lonely. Um, like they're obsessing over you, but yet at the same time, they're not communicating or pursuing you. They're just standing in one spot. They're just being still. Um, so this person's needing to overcome some sort of insecurities that they're dealing with. Uh, the other thing I'm getting is that a water sign might be codependent on you. Mm. They're just like stuck in your energy. It, and it could just be for health reasons. Um, or maybe you're a new mother and you have a baby. So yeah, they're codependent. You don't have a sitter. So you have to take this baby everywhere you go. Um, but it does seem like there's a water energy that is kind of stuck in your space. If you feel like someone is being too controlling or trying to be dominating or manipulative, I feel that you're going to try and keep your space or your distance from them. You're like, no, I need a break from them. They're mentally exhausting. Like I need it. I need to stay away. So you could be trying to, you know, you might have like a secret spot. Maybe you're hiding. It seems like you're kind of hiding out from someone. And then the other thing, it definitely seems like there is someone who is obsessing or lusting over you. And I don't know why they aren't coming forward, but they aren't. They're stuck. Um, they're over strategizing. At the same time, this person is dealing with some form of depression or anxiety. They're dealing with a lot of mood swings. They may not be ready to get out of their comfort zone. Maybe this person is used to people approaching them and pursuing them, but they can't do that with you or they see that you're not like that. So they're just like struggling with, you know, pursuing or coming forward. It also seems that someone is having a lot of taboo thoughts or dreams, um, a lot of lustful thoughts or dreams. Mm. It could be that your lower chakras feel abandoned um, and your lower chakras, that's just basically dealing with earthly things, material things. Maybe you um, do want to indulge in food, sex, or drinking. You're not getting that. So you could be obsessing about those thoughts. All right, so let's see what the energy cards are saying. All right, additional messages for fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. 
about this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, you have strategy, happy family, door to spirit, overall energy journey. All right, so you could be getting ready to take some sort of a new journey. Maybe you're going on a trip or a vacation. It does seem like you need a break. Um, I feel like you're also following um, your heart's desires. Mm, it's like spirit is guiding you. Spirit is trying to show you a way out of a situation too that you might feel trapped in. I do feel like things are going to get better for you. You might see synchronicities of twos and fours. Um, Something is guiding you on a different path. You might need to um, re-strategize your life or the direction that you were headed in because it's like, oh, I can't. Spirit is guiding me on a different path now. Let me, you know, let me go back to the drawing board. Let me figure this out. Um, you also might need to check your dream journals because there may be some sort of key information in there to help you understand your path or the the path that you're headed in uh, the direction that you're headed in um so you may have documented something or maybe you will have a dream that holds the key to what you need to do or what you need to be prepared for. Mm, but I feel that you are going to find a uh, peace or you're going to, you know, be in a relaxing setting. If you've been feeling claustrophobic, it seems that you're going to get a breath of fresh air. Hmm. Hmm. Something also seems like a dream. You might experience something that feels um, enchanting or like a miracle. It seems like there's an opportunity opening up for you. And it's like all you have to do is go through the door. Like spirit is like, hey, here's that opportunity. Are you going to sleep on it? You're going to pause or whenever you're ready, like it's here because it's yours. This is also part of your journey or part of your destiny. I feel like you're approaching some sort of freedom. Again, if you felt restraint. Mm. I feel that if you study astrology, like something's being revealed to you. Something about the moon and stars seems significant. Mm. Something may be written in the stars for you. Or if you had started to lose faith, um, maybe you're going to get like a little sneak peek at what's to come to inspire you or so that you can keep your faith or hold on to your faith. You also might witness something unusual. You might see something in spirit form. Like you thought you saw something physical, but it turns out it was a spirit form. Also, birds may have messages for you. So pay attention to unusual things like birds, um, you know, landing right in front of you or refusing to move out your way. Um, just flying up to you, like just pay attention to things like that. 
yeah so ultimately I just feel like you're gonna have like peace um, you might experience like a vacation type situation whether you're you know going out of town or you're just having a relaxing time at home binge watching movies yeah all right so hopefully these messages help uh, feel free to leave your feedback thank you guys for watching sending love and grace